What's up everybody, I'm Z-Wade, the Z-Wade and Z-Wade Photo, and over the next few videos we're going to be looking at some images that were taken all with the Nikon ZFC on various lenses. This first one is the 28mm f2.8 SE that came with the ZFC. Before I get into it, I want to invite you to check out our sponsor. Me, I am the sponsor, ZWadePhoto.com. I have a brand new merch store if you'd like to pick you up a Z Wade Photo hat, hoodie, shirt, or coffee cup so you can drink coffee with me while you watch Z Wade Photo videos. You can also check out my personal art portfolio, and if you want, swing by the print shop and pick you up a print. So let's hop into these videos. Uh, an interesting point. Every single photo you're going to see was shot with the auto area AF. I find that the uh, purpose of me having the ZFC on me at all time is for for quick quick shooting, right? And so I've been really, really testing out the uh, auto area AF and it didn't do a particularly great job right there. This is the 28 millimeter. This one is nice and sharp and really adorable. Um, She's really close for 2.8 to have much in focus, but this is very cute and nice and sharp. This is pretty darned cute. Looks like I shot most of these at uh, 500 ISO. Sun was going down. Uh, looks a little blurry. Here's some randomness of my dinner. 99 cent heart attacks, y'all. There's another one. It's reasonably sharp. It's the, the, the ISO is making it appear to be less sharp. It's just very, very noisy. Not very happy with these photos. It is finding the focus, though, I can tell, especially like on this ear. Like, it, it is nice and sharp. It's only when you zoom in that you really get a feel for the noise. This is very warm, and I'm not exactly sure why. I like this a little bit better. See what it looks like in black and white? Uh, kind of a filmy vibe with that noise in there. I'm not totally dissatisfied with that. Looks like we were just doing some rapid fire. Um, some some rapid fire shooting with the auto area AF. So let's just... Uh, these all look nice and sharp. Shooting at 1 25th of a second while she's standing still. Again, it looks more sharp here than it does on the eye. That's likely where it grabbed. Looks nice and sharp. That looks nice and sharp. Yeah, it's just a, a little too noisy for my liking. My computer screen shows off the noise uh, very, very, very heavily. Because it's very big. <laughs> You probably wouldn't, this one you would probably notice in printing. Looks like maybe a little bit of motion blur. That looks okay. Very noisy. I do not like this uh, camera very much at uh, 640 ISO. Here's 1600 ISO. Although I will say 640 ISO and 1600 ISO are not that different. So that's kind of impressive, actually. It's not any more or less noisy at six. Uh, it's, it's not more noisy at 1600 than it is at 640. It's got some motion blur on that one. There we go. This one. Appears to be nice and sharp. Okay. So, yeah, we're at a good shutter speed here. The 1600 ISO. Yeah, when you get very, very close, you could see it. I'm not dissatisfied. This is... 1600 ISO on the ZFC is better than 1600 ISO uh, on the Z7 II. But that's probably because also that there's a, a lot of megapixels on the Z7 II. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I'm just an absolute uh, demon for uh <laughs> for um noise you shouldn't really care about it like i do but i get very annoyed with grain that's nice and sharp yeah i'm not dissatisfied with the noise actually 
it was just better exposure in general. And so, um, the, the noise is just a little more pleasant at 1600, just because I got the, uh, the exposure a little better. That's something to keep in mind. Um, the more you screw up your exposure at a higher ISO, the more nasty it's going to get. The noise is a lot more pleasant whenever you get your exposure right. See, this is a little underexposed. And so whenever I go to correct it, you know, I'm going to bring out more noise. That looks pretty nice. Looks pretty nice in here. So it, it does a pretty good job in, in auto area. Um, I feel like the auto area is actually a little better than the Z62. The Z62 likes to hover around um, Lolly's chest for some reason, and this tries to find somewhere on her head. That's good. That's not in the animal eye uh, tracking. That's just in, uh, you know, the, the, the regular auto area AF. A little noisy. This is a really cute photo, and it looks like it's uh, nice and nice and sharp. That's a good shot. Maybe cool it off just a tad. Yeah, that looks really cute. <laughs> Definitely got some blur on that one at 1 60th of a second. Looks like we are into a different lens now, and so I will wrap up this video. Do you have the ZFC? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you thinking about getting it? What are your reservations? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to help support the channel, you can make a small donation in the PayPal link below. I'm Z-Wade, the Z-Wade, and Z-Wade Photo, and I will catch you in the next one.